In this video, I'm going to be making Paula Deen's PB and J bars and everything you need, uh, you can see right here. You need one box of yellow cake mix. You can use any brand you want. I picked up the Betty Crocker uh, butter recipe yellow. You need half a cup of vegetable oil in here. You need two eggs, one cup of creamy peanut butter, which I bought Jeff because I like it the best, and then one and a half cups of your favorite flavor jam. I love grape, and when I think of a PB&J sandwich, I think of grape uh, jam. So this is one and a half cups. You also need some uh, cooking spray, uh, just because you're gonna spray your pan. You need a nine by 13 inch pan. We call it our lasagna pan, uh, but you need to spray that. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. In a mixing bowl, you're gonna combine your cake mix, your vegetable oil, and your eggs. down my bowl that is a thick it's just a hip, it's very thick it is very very thick now you want to mix in your cup of peanut butter you hear that mixer <laughs> it is a this is a very very thick mixture so uh, you need um, you need at least a hand hand mixer. I don't. I mean, you could do this by hand, but uh, I think you're going to get worn out if you do. So the directions say to put two thirds of this in your in your pan. So I've never been good with math, so I'm just going to slap some in the bottom of this. Take your uh, jelly, your jam, and put this across the top. And they say you won't be able to like spread it. You just have to put it in clumps. Use the rest of this. You take little pieces and put it over the top because it's not going to cover the whole thing. You want to bake these for 30 minutes and then when they come out, you want to let them cool for 30 minutes because I'd say that jelly will be uh, very, very uh, hot. So um, I'm going to put these in for 30 minutes and then we'll be back. So I wanted to show you how these uh, look right out of the oven. Um, and you can see it is bubbling, that jelly. And that is exactly why you don't want to eat these right now. So we're going to wait 30 minutes and then we'll uh, cut us one. These have been cooling for about an hour and 15 minutes. It's completely cool now. So there's one. And let's see, I'll get out the next one too. There we go. Turned out really, really well. Okay, like I said, these are from Paula Dean. So it's www.pauladeen.com. -E and then if you go into her recipe section, these are actually referred to as back to school PB&J bars. So um, let's give it a try. I don't know if you can pick it up, 
Normally, I consider a bar something that I can eat with my hands. I don't think so. Um, you don't think you can? Well, you probably pick up pieces of it. Bars, I like to eat with my hands, but... Um, it's just easy to cut into. Peanut butter is definitely the... The star. The star of that. The jelly's there. It's not super, super strong, but it is there. I think, um, I, I follow her on Instagram. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking when she did her recipe on Instagram, she used strawberry jam. And I'm thinking she used Smucker's. Not that the brand matters, but she had a smaller jar. And she ended up using the entire jar. Now, I bought a great big container of Welch's grape, so I didn't use all of them, but... i tell you what, I, the next bite I took, I, took, I tasted more grape. Well, that's what I want to get. Yeah, I think it just depends on the bite, where the thickness of that grape was. Mm. Now, mm. normally, you aren't a peanut butter, cookie, or bar type person. What do you think of this? These are different, though, because the, they're... First of all, they're not dry. No. So, um... Peanut butter cookies, one of my complaints about peanut butter cookies is they're dry and they don't have much peanut butter flavor. Mm -hmm. These are moist and have tons of peanut butter flavor. Mm -hmm. And um, the jelly adds a really good sweetness to it. And I like the grape. I really do like the grape with it. It does really go good to it. But you can pick any jelly you wanted. You know, if you like raspberry, strawberry. Yeah, she you know, was saying. Apricot. I mean, or whatever you want. Yeah, and, yeah. Literally anything you want. You could anything that go with peanut butter. I would think strawberry, probably grape. Those kind of flavors, cherry may go good with it. Uh, those would go more than better. Yeah, like my, my very, very favorite is probably um, Stonewall Kitchen Peach Amaretto. I absolutely love that, but I wouldn't necessarily pick Put that to go butter. with peanut butter. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine it being bad because it's over the top sweet, but I think strawberry and grape are just classic flavors mm. that always go on a peanut butter sandwich mm. and so they go really well in that bar but i think these are delicious oh, very good. simple as can be Super to easy. make and i think relatively cheap too because mm. a cake mix doesn't cost hardly anything so i hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching